Welcome to our first exercise. In this tutorial, we're going to practice the skills we learned in our previous lessons. Now I'll insert a sketch on the top plane. Right click, sketch, deselect everything by clicking in blank space, and let's pan to the left a little bit. Now we'll activate the line tool and create a shape. A horizontal line, next a vertical line, another horizontal line, and another vertical line. Now a tangent arc. Move the mouse away, back over the origination point, and there's the arc tool. I'm going to left click when I see the blue feedback line, which means my arc is at 180 degrees. Now another vertical line. And let's make the last two lines slightly off. Just close the profile. Right click and select to close the tool. Okay, first let's set the horizontal and vertical relations. Horizontal. Now I want to make all six of these sides equal. I can shift select them one by one, or I can window select all the lines. Remember that a right to left window select will include even the entities that are only partially within the selection window. And let's apply that equal relation. Now we're ready to apply dimensions. Smart dimension the radius here at 20 millimeters. Accept. Let's make this line 30 millimeters. Accept. And the sketch is now black and fully defined. Let's exit. Take an isometric view. While the sketch is still selected, let's activate the extruded boss base command. A 10 millimeter extrusion is fine. Let's accept. And we're finished. Time to save. Let's call it L-15. Part A and save. And as you see, the part name at the top of the tree changes, L-15A. Let's create a second part document now. OK. Right click on the top plane, insert sketch. Let's pan to the left a little bit. Activate the line tool. And now I'm going to create a simple profile. A vertical line, a horizontal line, and so on here. Let's close the profile. Right click and select to close the line tool. I want all six of these segments to be equal in length, so let's select them all and apply an equal relation. Now watch what happens. As a result, our geometry is pretty distorted. If I try to adjust by dragging, I'm not able to fix it. The only thing I can do here is undo. Now let's go figure out what went wrong. The reason this happened is that I tried to select too many segments that were quite different in length at the same time. The workaround is to select fewer segments at a time, or to just make your existing geometry a closer match at the time that you're sketching it. Let's make some adjustments here. OK, and let's window select again. And let's apply the equal relation again. Still pretty distorted. Let's try it again. Make them a little more even. And let's try applying the equal relation again. And this time it worked. Now I need to add some dimensions. Smart dimension, select this side, 90 millimeters, accept, and the sketch is fully defined. Let's exit our sketch. Asymmetric view. My sketch is already pre-selected. Let's activate the boss extrude command. We'll extrude in both directions, apply a draft, and accept. Let's take a look at the Solid Bodies folder. We've got a single solid body, Boss Extrude 1. I'm going to create a second extrude. Right click, and here we've got two options. We can edit the sketch or create a new sketch. I'm going to create a new sketch. Take a normal two view. 
Let's activate the Rectangle tool and drop it about here. Right-click and select to close the tool. By the way, you don't have to create your geometry within the boundaries of the existing solid. You can create it anywhere on the current plane. Now even though this looks like a square, it's not a square until we've applied an equal relation to the side. So let's do that. Dimensions now. We'll make the side 30 millimeters in length. OK. The sketch is still blue. That's because it needs to be positioned. I'll select this edge and this line. Make this dimension 10 millimeters. OK. Select this line and this edge, also 10 millimeters, and click OK. Now the sketch is in black line, fully defined. Let's exit and take an isometric view. Our sketch is pre-selected. Activate the Extruded Boss command. A 10 millimeter extrusion in the positive Y direction looks good. And let's apply a 70 millimeter extrusion in the negative Y direction. Accept. To edit the sketch, right click and select Edit Sketch. Let's, for example, change this dimension to 20 millimeters. Accept. And exit. And the changes are applied automatically. In the Solid Bodies folder, we still have a single solid. The reason for this is that when we created the second extrusion, the Merge Result option was checked. Let's edit the feature. This time, let's uncheck Merge Result. Accept. And now we've got two solid bodies in the Solid Bodies folder. Let's save this part. I'm going to call it L-15B. Just change that A to B. And click Save. Now the first part is still open. We can easily switch between 15A and B. If you want to see both at the same time, however, you can tile horizontally or vertically. Let's tile the parts horizontally. And now let's tile vertically. To maximize the parts display in your graphic area, just double click on the blue title bar of one of the windows. Within the same part document, we can display more than one view at a time. Let's try two views horizontal or two views vertical. I can activate the first or second view by clicking in the graphic area. Let's take an isometric view here. And we can return to a single view in the same way. One more thing I want to show you. If you create your part and you need to change the orientation, you can right click on the sketch and select Edit Sketch Plane. I created my first sketch on the top plane. Now I'm going to select the front plane instead from the tree and then click Accept. Now my base plane is the front plane. And this concludes our first exercise.